Hello everyone. Welcome to Mealer Studies. In this video, we are going to solve one more SQL interview problem. And the problem statement is given as given an employee table with ID, name, salary, age, department columns. We need to allocate the employees for three projects. At least one employee in each department should be a part of one project. HR is not considered as a part of any project. This is the problem statement is given, and we need to solve this problem. Return the names of those employees who cost the most in a project. Or return those employees who work on the most expensive project so we need to return those employees names who work on the most expensive project so in order to decide expensive project so there could be different resource cost will be there but you know given problem statement we have to collect only the salaries of employees because the salaries of employees will be considered as a resource cost in completing any project right so now we are going to consider only that column as a given so if in case there is any other columns as given as resource cost we will be considering them okay so now let's see how we are going to solve this problem in ssms you can see here this is the problem statement is given and these are the problems i mean any you can see here interviews will be asking like this question or this question okay now we'll see this is the data i have just considered now we have to consider all these employees to allocate to three projects and we should not consider HR in any project, right? So now, first and foremost, we should exclude that HR. Wherever HR is there, those employees should not be part of any project, right? So that is the reason I'm just excluding that one by considering where department is not equal to HR. So if I define like this, we are not we are ensuring that there is no HR related employee working on this, right? This data. Now, from this data, we need to allocate all these employees to three projects. And also we need to consider at least at least one employee in each department should be a part of any project right so first we have to divide all this into three groups three groups in the sense we need to allocate all these employees to three projects but how we are going to consider for each department one should be there so that is the reason we are going to divide in each department to three groups okay and then total of three project right so let's see here so there is a one window function is there and that helps us to divide or grouping the records. That is entail, right? So with the help of entail, we are going to grouping all these people into different groups. So in a given problem, it is mentioned as three projects, right? So we need to allocate all of them into three projects. Let's see that. With the help of entail, we are going to divide them. So now I'm just considering all data. With addition to that, I'm just mentioning entail. So entail, I'm just considering like here. You have to use OR class, right? From employees. Employees one table. So now, if I execute this one, you can see what are the errors you can expect. Now you can see here, the function entail must have over class with order by. So you are trying to divide the group of, I mean, these employees into different groups. That is entile. Tile means group. Okay, number of tiles. So we should mention order by. In which order you are trying to grouping them, right? So now we need to understand we are going to dividing on the basis of each department should, I mean, one employee should be a part of each project right so that is the reason i am just using order by of department okay now if i execute this one you can see another error what is that error entail takes exactly one er argument so we are not passing any argument so that is why it is confusing like how many tiles i am going to divide right so you have to define it so in our given problem it is mentioned as three project right so that is the reason i am going to divide this entire data into three tiles that is three groups now you can see here it's divided into three groups but if you observe engineering engineering these two are working on the same project right it should not be the case right because one employee should be a part of one project at least right so now next all are working on one project only right if you observe finance people is not working on any other project right so first we'll see one employee should be a part of one project i mean in each department one employee should be a project part of one project okay and also you need to consider I mean, by doing so, we'll be having in three project in each department, one employee should be a part of one project, right? I mean, the same project. Okay. Let's see here how we can do that. So if you divide these two for two projects, then one employee should be one project and another employee should be another project. So we have to prioritize the allocation. So first we are going to allocate one employee should be a part of one project. And then whoever remaining is there, those will be allocated to remaining projects, right? So that is our real world context. Now, we are going to use department so each department wise we are going to divide right so you have to keep this column in a partition right so then we are going to use partition by 
department. So by doing so, we are ensuring that first and foremost, we are allocating to project for each department, one employee should be allocated and then remaining people will be allocated to next, right, next project. So now you can see here, so how it is divided? So in each department it started allocating. So first it's going to consider Mahi, that will be allocated to first project. Next one, so next it's going to finance department and this one will be allocated to the same project. So similarly HR, so here we are considering HR, we should not consider it, right. So that is the reason we have to use here where department is not equal to HR, okay. Now we can see engineering 1, next finance 1, next IT 1. So likewise, we allocated to first project one employee in each department. So after that, engineering, second department, second project, second finance, second project. Likewise, we allocated. So if you observe total of three groups, we allocated. Now even if you want, you can mention order by of last column with, I am going to mention this as project. So these are project, right? Order by project. Now, if I execute this one, you can see here, in first project, we have engineering person, finance, IT, marketing, sales person. So, this is how in real world will be working, right? So, there could be multiple people also working in each department. But the given condition, I mean, as per the given problem, we are going to following the given problem, okay? So, now if you observe, in each department, one employee should be allocated, right? Now, you can see here, right? So, now what we have to return? We have to return only those employees who cost the most in a project. So, let's see here. So first and foremost, we have to understand what is the project cost, each project cost. There are three projects are there and we allocated different employees to different projects and we need to see what is the cost like resource cost for each project. How we can do that? So I'm just considering this entire SCT. After that, we are going to find the resource cost for each project. So how we can do that? Project wise, we are going to add salaries of all employees from CTE. We have to use group by of project, right? So now if I execute this one, that's going to return. You can see here, order by cloth is invalid. We, we should not consider order, right? So let's see, I'm just removing it. Now if I execute this one, you can see here, it is returning as project wise and the total cost. So now what we have to return, we have to find which project is the most expensive and we need to return those employees who work in that particular project, right? So now, you can also use it here like descending order, like order by second column and descending order. But in real world, we don't know how many projects are there, how many projects are uh, taking a same resource cost, right? So that is the reason we need to allocate rankings on the basis of these salaries, this total resource cost, okay? So for that, I'm just allocating this as resource cost, okay? Now if I execute this one, you can see project wise resource cost we have written. Now from this one, we are going to return which one is the highest one and which one taking the most expensive, right? So let's see, I'm just considering this as CT2. I'm just storing that one. Now we are going to allocating rankings. So you can use rank or range rank. If you know like all are distinct, you can use rank, but we don't know how many people are me, how many projects will be having same resource cost. So that is the reason you have to prefer range rank, okay? Over order by project that is resource cost right resource cost and we are finding the highest one right so we have to mention in descending order from cte2 now if you execute this one you can see here we allocated i mean we assigned the ranks on the basis of the highest one to lowest one right so now if you observe the project 2 cost the highest so that is why it is returning one so now what we have to do you can mention where or else you can also create one more cte as this one. Now selecting data from CTE3 where third column, I am going to mention this as DRNK, DRNK where DRNK equal to 1. That represents the highest expensive or the most expensive project only. So this is the project that is the most expensive project. So now what we have to do, we have to return those employees who work in this project that is 2. Right. So, how we can do that? So, this is the project details we have. And from CTE, CTE, what we have? From CTE, we have, let's see this. So, if you observe, in CTE, we have project. So, if you just join CTE 3 with this one, what you will be getting? You will be getting those employee details, right? So, that is reason I am just joining this CTE 3. I am just considering CTE 3 as C3. Join CTE, that is C, on which condition? 
from CTE project equal to C3. In C3 also we have project, right? That is in CTE 3. Okay. Now, on this condition, we are just doing this one. Now, you can see, we are getting many more. But, we need to understand, we are just filtering, I mean, we are finding the expensive only. So, expensive in the sense, you have to use this tank as one. Right. So, that is the reason I am just using where DRNK equal to one. Now, if I execute this one, you can see here, we are getting now only DRNK is one. That means, the highest resource cost, that is a project two. And we have to return only those employee details. So, these are the employees who work in these two projects. And that is the reason, I mean, here you need to understand that this resource cost is because of these employee salaries only. And these are the employees who work in this particular project. Okay. Let's see. So, these are the names from CTE, right? So, we have to consider only C dot employee names from, okay, I am just using like this. Okay. Now, if I execute this one, you can see here. We have returned only those employee details who work in the most expensive project, right? So, this is how we are going to divide all employees into different groups as per our requirement and we are finding the most expensive project and then we are returning those employees who work in that particular project, okay? I hope you understood. So, this looks like a little bit confusing. Just understand the given statement like given context behind this one and then you have to solve this problem, okay? I hope you understood.